So I just want to do a just a quick video to show in one change or a couple changes I'm making. Uh, really, the main thing is uh, in player movement. It used to be RB velocity plus equals movement vector. Now we're just doing equals. Uh, this makes it makes the movement better in my opinion. Uh, not it was a little bit floaty before. We kind of we would kind of slide around and we'd build up speed and get faster and faster and, and it just didn't feel it didn't feel good um the thing is once we do that we need to bump up our player's speed a lot more so i'm just going to do like 200. that's better they're still kind of slow i'm going to be faster Let's do like, let's, let's try 300. That's pretty good. That's good enough for me. And there's also something else. So if we shoot it in the goal and it goes in, it resets fine. But what happens if we launch it over the goal? We miss the goal. And then it just falls off and it falls forever and forever. So we need to fix that. So let's go into our ball script. Let's do a public void out of bounds. And we're just going to say if transform opposition dot Y is less than zero then we are going to reset i would say just re uh reset the position of the ball but i want to reset the players also so start coroutine game manager dot instance reset scene that should do it uh we just got to put it in an update method There we go. And that is that. If you found this video useful, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. It really does help me with YouTube's algorithm. Thanks and duck bless.